How well do you know him? Started working here. Pretty eccentric character, isn't he? I said I just started working here. Well, let me put it another way. Is he still a lush? What makes you so sure he went down in the swamps? I had this couple of... Talk a little louder, huh? I had this couple up showing him some property from the air. The last time I saw Major Barber, he was flying southeast toward the Everglades. But you didn't actually see him crash. Well, if I had, half the country wouldn't be looking for him, now would they? Don't you think it's a bit ironic, Mr. Stiles, that one of this country's leading wartime aces, a man who shot down 22 enemy planes... 24, I checked in Miami. ...should end up in a swamp flying a tiny plane used to show real estate to buyers... Mrs. Barbin just landed. Hey, let's get this. See how they run. Oh, well, why not? Barb is still big news. Yeah. But where was everybody before he crashed? Todd. Go home, hit the sack, huh? We still have a couple of hours of daylight. Well, tomorrow, if they haven't found it, we can look some more. When you get your eyes back open. The flash bulbs woke me up. This is Bobby. We understand you kept the name. Uh, is it true you haven't seen him in 10 years? About that. And you wanted to rush down here and stand by in his hour of need, right? Anything wrong in that? Okay, Miss Barber, now how about another pose, huh? What about the movie rights? In case they don't find him. Come on, fellas. Can anyone use a drink? You know, as well as I know Barb, he never mentioned a wife.
Cape Coral Airport. Get out of my husband's house. Get out! Put on my shoes first. You walk out, you walk out barefoot. Oh, no, you don't. If it's any comfort to you, I... I don't know where I'm going. 
I'm going nowhere with no one. Now, how about a shirt? Do I get a shirt before I go? Go ahead, you want to go. Walk out like that, like the barefoot bum you are. There's one thing I want you to know, Vi. If I could live married, I'd live it with you. <laughs> he never got married. He never again came back. He was the slob of slobs, even in service. You a friend of his? I met him once, a long time ago. Yeah, that's my story. There was a ticker tape coming from every window in Wall Street. And he rode by, sitting up there on the tunnel of the car, waving like Rex. I was a blob in the crowd. The bells rang, and I don't mean Trinity Church. Bye, he's for you. I come from Baltimore to find him. I have a son in business in Baltimore. Look at these. Do you know why they're so worn out? Because I keep him good and broke, that's why. Every month for the last 10 years, he's had to mail me my alimony. Well, that was our agreement. $270 a month until remarriage doth us part. I live with my son now and his wife and my grandchildren. I have a chair in their garden. Sure. I married him for the confetti and the parties, the ribbons on his chest. But he overlooked this one little matter. My son considers me as useless as a stove in the summer, a fan in the winter. You want to laugh? I fell in love with the big slob. But afterwards, after the parades, Everybody forgot him. His old clothes and his worn out old shoes. Then I began to love him. But you can't hold on to Barb. Nobody ever could. So I wait and I take those checks. It was $270 a month. And I keep him in shabby shoes. I wait. Oh, I, I'm sorry. I, I didn't catch what you said. You Barb's friend? I met him once, a long time ago.
No, I asked you over here because I'm the kind of kook who thrives on disapproval. Now, which one of you saw him last? I did. Then I'll make my little speech to you. I came down here for the publicity. I get tired of gray. Gray days, gray nights, gray thoughts, gray life. Okay. Barb turns up missing and I end up on the front page. You know what? Gray paper. You will find him for me, won't you? You will bring him back to me. You will give me another chance to, to help him. Mrs. Barbin, I don't know how to say this. I'm not even sure what I'm saying is accurate. The thing I haven't told anybody, except Mr. Royce and now you, is when I saw the Major heading for the Everglades, he was flying strangely, doing acrobatics, doing things to his plane as though he wanted to fly the wings off. I got the feeling he was trying to... to kill himself. I'm losing RPMs. What? Johnny Evans spotted the wreck. You call it right in the center of the Everglades. What about the Major? You better round up your buddy and get him right back here. We're gassing up the jump plane now. the major's plane. Okay. Where do you put the parachute? It all works out. Link. Forget it. Wait a minute, will ya? Look, if I'm lucky, I'll find the major and bring him out. I can't carry you out, too. Link, old buddy. My Roman Spartan Apache friend. Maybe you know a few jungle tricks. Maybe you're an expert on survival and I'd get lost in Times Square. But when it comes to plain old muscle and stiff upper lip, I'll match you from here to Mandalay. You ever jump from a plane? 
With or without a parachute. Now we've got planes all over the area, but the undergrowth's so thick, nobody can see too much. But there's one thing we're sure of. The Major's not in the wreck. He either walked or crawled out. Now if he went east, north or south, it's all sawgrass and quicksand, gators and water moccasins in there. But if he went west, he's got a chance. Only seven miles of swamp until he reaches this area. We can get an airboat in there and bring him out, or raise him by hoist onto a copter. But first, we gotta find him. Now, they promised us some paratroopers from Fort Bragg, but we can't get them till tomorrow. They're on maneuvers. So we're lucky to have a man right here in Cape Coral who served in Vietnam, a trained paratrooper who's jumped in worse country, Link Case. If anybody can eat a hero sandwich, why not a couple of heroes? Just because you're infantry, you don't have to stand there in the mud, do we? Now I want to soak up some of your juices. Take some of those sparks before you lose them. You know, you lose them pretty fast when you get off the line. You just sort of throttle back and you don't hear anything and you don't see anything. It's a steep price for a tune-up job. Whenever I left the deck of that carrier or cleared a jungle runway, boy, my, my ears popped up. I had true pitch. My eyes could see fish hiding under the corals of the atoll, or I could smell a cumulus cloud 10 miles away. Now I can't even smell a garlic in that sandwich. <laughs> Link, you got everything you asked for? How about it, Link? I'd appreciate your keeping someone on the radio. I'll check in every hour on the hour. If you don't get a contact during any two hour period, send the planes out again. Have him look for signals from the very pistol. I'll use a red flare for ready for pickup. Don't pay any attention to the white flares. I may need them to light our way. That's about it. Better get some gear for Todd. about snakes and insects.
Instruments do not lie. He flew the aircraft into the ground at full speed. One of your newspapers arranged for my jump, for a story I would bring back. Let me have the radio. Go too far. It'll be dark in about ten minutes. In the water, came from that direction. He went east. I'll check in later. Let's get out of here. Forks here. Well, up to this point, he didn't leave the river. Another reeds are broken down on either side. From here on, it's guesswork. Well, we might as well camp here for the night and decide in the morning. in six inches from your face. I wish my son were here. Nothing more to know. He's neither Japanese nor American. But it's the worst of each. I wonder if you were here now, sitting as I sit. Would he smile as I smile? Is this what he calls an useless old man? I have no regrets that I come here. Already the heartbreak. The disgrace of these long years start to slip from my shoulders. I begin to feel beautiful.
I thought all my friends were dead. I was wrong. You and have been born. week mumbling that under his breath Shakespeare from as you like it they have their exits and their entrances and one man in his time plays many parts etc a soldier, sudden and quick in quarrel, seeking what? Seeking the bubble reputation, even in the cannon's mouth. <laughs> I try, Styles, but I can't remember all the words. No, do not touch him. Yoshio Takasuka. Names. Put your face. Can he be moved? I've set his leg. And I wrapped his ribs. There's nothing I can do about bleeding inside him. Okay, we'll make a float and ride him out in the water. Kid! You're not obliged to talk, Major. Nobody asks you why. That's pure infantry. Hear how he says, Major? Well, soldier, you listen to this, Major. I worked hard to get here. I intend to stay. We'll make a float with the parachutes. I'm gonna die right here. I have come a long way across many years over many bitter memories. 
No, Major. You will not die. You will live. I'll make you live. Okay, you explain it. I don't think I can. All over the stinking world, people keep trying. No matter how tough it gets, they keep trying. I've seen them, Todd, from the simple bullet wounds to the ones holding their bleeding guts with both hands and thanking you for lighting them a cigarette. The mothers who give their last food to kids who are already dead, but they won't admit it. All of them, Todd, take one more step. Always one more step. Just in case something will happen to make it better. Who gave him the right to quit? Who gave you the right to judge? We're just about set. He calls for you. You look just like McMillan. For a while, everyone looked like McMillan. That was a classy kid. No one ever got near me when Mac was on my wing. And over you all. When he was covering me. He bought it. They dissolved him in smoke. Over and out, just like that. Takasuka said, hey. hey. Who is that guy? I'm sure I saw him someplace. Your wife flew down from New York. <laughs> Why am I so awake? Why can't I stop breathing? How'd she look? I only noticed her eyes. They were red. I can't even remember what she looks like. And she was crying. Why? Why put your face up against the sky and let me see it? No go. No face. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah. Yeah, her ankles. I remember her ankles. Pretty ankles. Why'd you do this? Kept telling myself. I even told Link, shut up and don't ask him. But you have to know. Yeah. Even if I did tell you, you still won't know. I did everything else there was to do except this. I want to try this. You can't accept it, can you? You bet I can't. All right. Suppose I told you I was a hero and they forgot about me. Or I was a washout and I walked out on my wife. That'd make sense, wouldn't it? Well, listen. You're looking at the very last of the hardheads. I fought me a war for freedom. Now I want that freedom to put the eight ball in the side pocket. I'm not going back! I'm not going...
Try and keep them down. Uh, yeah. But I saw McMillan shoot you down. I saw you crash. It was my dishonor to survive. How about it? How about it? tried twice in my life. But the first time was hearsay when, when I got born. The second time was not that day I saw you fall. I wasn't thinking too clear. Not with your bullets in my chest. But later at the hospital, I, I saw a fan in the ceiling. It reminded me of your propeller. Someone shut it off. I saw your propeller stopping and you falling. I began to cry. I often wondered who he was. God may be in a zero. Why didn't you kill me? In those days, my eyes were trained to see stars at noon and Hellcat coming out of the sun. shoot off Motoyama's wing. I had 73 kills. I marked you as 74. In all my years in the China War and in this war, you were the first enemy to move so swiftly to counterattack. I rolled to throw you off, but you were all with me and your guns reached for the belly of my fighter. Then you made your first mistake. I cut inside. I knew your plane was crippled and that you were hurt. But never before had I been so tested. I had to see this man. There was blood running from your mouth and your chest was dark with the blood. And my chest, in my mouth, I could feel that blood. Weapon. Not God in zero. A 40 year old man, I could not take your life. How can I permit you to waste it now? Stop moving! Sands everything. 
I came here needing him, needing the old glory, and he needed me. A stinking way to die. He died well. He died wanting to live. Smiles. Executive Producer.